Let's start with third angle and see how we can actually visualize taking a 3D object and unfolding it into a 2D object. One way to visualize third angle projection is to do what's called the unfold the box method. So let's say that this box right here is our part. You can see we have a top of the box, we have a left side, we have a front, and we also have a right and a back side as well. So where we put the drawing views is where they would be if we unfolded this box. Let's show you visually. If we unfolded the left side, you can see it would be over here to the left side of the front view. If we unfolded the right side, it would be on the right side of the front view. Same with the top and same with the bottom. Now, typically the back face, if we were going to unfold that or needed to show it on the drawing, would be down here below the bottom view. So it's almost as if we're unfolding the part itself. While not as common, back views are sometimes necessary. For simplicity though in this example, let's just ignore it for now. So this is how the part would be represented on our 2D drawing. The front view would be right in the center. The view from the right, if you think about unfolding it, would be on the right side. The view from the left would be on the left side, and so forth. These are always going to be the view locations when using the third angle projection. So if your company is using third angle projection, you can use this. The front view is typically going to be in the middle. The left view on the left, the right view on the right, top view on the top, bottom view on the bottom. Pretty straightforward. Also, these views represent you looking at that object from that side. So if I was looking at the object from the left side, looking at it, that would be the left view. You can see the third angle symbol here, and you can see that we are unfolding the box to form this shape. The left side would be the top of the cone looking down on it. And then the right view is the view how it would look from the right side. That is why we use this symbol for third angle. First angle projection is a little bit different. Instead of unfolding our box, we do what's called tipping the box over. If we keep the front view constant, the view seen from the front to back and each tip position is the view created. So the front view is still directly in the center, the same way it was in third angle. But now let's tip this front over to the right side. If we tip that over, you can see we now view the left view here. So the left view is on the right side of the front view. So that is the image that is to the right of the part. Same thing with the right view. If we tip it over again, that's where the right view will be. Remember our rule with first angle projection. The object is between the observer and the drawing itself. So here we're viewing the right view. The box can continue to be tipped over to form the views. So if you look, it's basically the opposite of the third angle view method. You can see why people get so confused if they're not aware if they're using first angle or third angle projection. They could be looking at the wrong side of the part. That's why it's important to identify which symbol is on your print. If it's this one, it's first angle. You can also remember this one because if we tip the object over, that's what it would look like in that side view.